Staff members at Louisville Metro Animal Services are faced with tough decisions every day. When the shelter gets overcrowded, it looks to a list of dogs at risk of being euthanized. It's our hope that someone will see what makes them so special and save these dogs from that fate. Today's shelter star is Dora, a five-year-old who's come a long way after a very difficult start to her life. Here's Brooke Hash. Today we have Dora, the cute little russet potato. She's listed as five years old. Dora is currently in a foster home after coming to LMAS a couple months ago. Chelsea Yonders said it was a case of animal cruelty. In the beginning, um, she was very barrier reactive, um, meaning she would bark at the kennel. She was very shy. She just was nervous. You know, the shelter's loud, overwhelming. I mean, they're here all day, every day. Yonder said her foster family saved her life. She still loves a human, you know, um, even though she's met not the, the greatest people. She still has the, the reason to love someone, you know, she's not afraid of people. Since making the move into a foster home, Dora has blossomed. She comes up with open arms, you know, it just took some time to get to know her and she was great. She's crate trained and house trained and does well on a leash and about her energy level. She would love a snack and just to lay around and do nothing all day. She's a perfect candidate for Netflix and chill. <laughs> Yonder said she's great with kids, but you may want to make the transition a slow one. She's very sweet with people. She's very loving. I mean, she'll give an occasional side eye, but I think everybody does. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, she's the happiest little hippo. In Louisville, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 on your side. Right now, Dora is in a foster home. The best way to meet her is to contact the foster coordinator by email at masfoster at louisvilleky.gov. And if your home is already full of furry friends, here's three things that you can do to help combat overcrowding. First, make sure your pet's microchip information and collar is up to date. Two, keep cats inside and keep dogs on a leash or within a secure fenced area. And three, spay and neuter your pets.